Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Nursing Hub. I am actually here again with a new nursing theory which is called as Watson's Theory of Human Caring. The changes in the healthcare delivery systems around the world have intensified nurses' responsibilities and workloads. Nurses must now deal with patients in these acuity and complexity in regard to their healthcare situation. Despite such hardships, nurses must find ways to preserve their caring, caring practice. Jean Watson's transpersonal caring theory can be used to foster and preserve these caring behaviors. First of all, let's see her background. Margaret Jean Harmon was born in a small town in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia in the 1940s. She graduated from the Lewis Gale School of Nursing in 1961, then continued her nursing studies at the University of Colorado. In, in 1961, she married Douglas Watson. She began her nursing career in 1964 after receiving her B.S. in nursing from the University of Colorado Boulder. In 1966, she received an MS in Psychiatric and Mental Health Nursing from the University of Colorado, Denver, and in 1973, her doctorate in Educational Psychology and Counseling from the University of Colorado, Boulder. Jean Watson is a widely published author and recipient of several awards and honors, 15 honorary doctoral degrees including 12 international honorary doctorates. Her research has been in the area of human caring and laws. The foundation of Jean Watson's theory of nursing was published in 1971 in Nursing, the, F the Philosophy and Science of Caring. In 1988, her theory was published in Nursing, Human Science and Human Care. In 2002, she published the book Assessing and Measuring Care in Nursing and Health Sciences. When it comes to her career milestones, she is an author and co-author of over 20 books, past previous president of the National League of Nursing, fellow of American Academy of Nursing, distinguished professor of nursing and chair in caring science at the University of Colorado Health Sciences Center. Jean Watson is the founding member of International Association in Human Caring and International Characters Consortium, founder and director of the Watson Caring and Science Institute. In 2010, she launched the Million Nurse Global Caring Field Project. In October 2013, she was inducted as a living legend by the American Academy of Nursing. Jean Watson received many awards, one as the Fetzer Institute Norman Cousins Award in 2015, International Fellowship in Australia, Fulbright Research Award in Sweden, Holistic Nurse of the Year in 2010. There is a purpose for developing this human caring theory. So the theory of human caring was developed based on Watson's desire to re-establish holistic practice in nursing care and move away from the cold and disconnected scientific model while infusing feeling and caring back into nursing practice. The purpose of the theory was to provide a philosophical ethical foundation from which the nurse could provide care. Jean Watson believes there is a benefit for this theory for both the nurse and the patient that is when each person reveals his or her authentic self and engages in interactions with another being, the energetic field around both of them will change and enhance the healing environment. Let's see what are the major influences on Watson's work. So first one was loss of vision and loss of left eye in 1997. So she wrote in her book in 2013, I lost my eye literally, metaphorically and symbolically. Losing my e eye, which means ego, I, I, ha I had to learn to be still, to surrender to all, to let go, to learn to receive, to be open to unknown mystery and miracles. It was the mystic and metaphysical sp or spiritual practices and inner experiences that carried me through. 
the second as loss of her husband in 1998 losses in her life brought her to the realization of the supreme power of love and to her own philosophical writings here are her caring assumptions caring can be effectively demonstrated and practiced interpersonally caring consists of creative factors that can fulfill human needs effective caring promotes health and individual and family growth caring responses accepts a person as is and, and look beyond to what they what that person may become a caring environment offers the development of potential while allowing a person to choose the best action at a given time caring is equally important as curing The practice of caring integrates biophysical knowledge with knowledge of human behavior to generate or promote health and to assess those who are ill. The science of caring and the science of curing are interrelated and are not mutually exclusive. The pra- the practice of caring is central to nursing. Caring denotes a nurse's responsiveness to a client's problem. The nurse and the client collaborate to help the client gain control, knowledge and health. Now let's see what are the major conceptual elements. So first one is the 10 caring factors, second is transpersonal caring relationship and the third is caring moment or caring occasion. among the concepts first let's see what are caring factors so watson identifies 10 caring factors on which the science of caring is built these factors provide structure to her caring assumptions each factor has a dynamic phenomenological component that is developing human con- consciousness and self awareness relative to persons involved in the nursing relationship the first caring factor is forming a humanistic altruistic value system this occurs early in life but can be greatly influenced by nursing educators it can be accomplished by examining one's views beliefs and interactions with various cultures as well as a, per- a personal growth experiences it provides satisfaction through giving and extending oneself the second caring factor is instilling faith hope It addresses the nurse's role in promoting wellness. It is accomplished by helping a client adopt health-seeking behaviors by positively using the powers of suggestion, by positively supporting the client and by develop- developing effective nurse-client relationship. It is essential for the caring and curing process. So do not give any false hope or false in in false suggestions. you can give only the positive suggestions and positive hopes the third caring factor is cultivating sensitivity to oneself and to others which leads to self actualization through self acceptance which is important for a nurse because a nurse who can express personal feelings can better help a client to do the same caring factor 4 is developing a helping trust relationship which establishes rapport and caring helps promote expression of positive and negative feelings which is accomplished through congruence empathy non possessive warmth and effective communication here the congruence means maintaining a balance through proper rapport The fifth caring factor is promoting expression of positive and negative feelings which involves the sharing of feelings includes being prepared for negative as well as positive feelings. The sixth caring factor is systematically use the scientific problem solving method for decision making which is important for research defining the discipline and developing a scientific knowledge base for nursing. which brings a scientific problem solving approach to nursing care seven caring factor is promoting interpersonal teaching learning 
which gives a client maximum health control because it provides information and alternatives which distinguishes caring from curing by assigning responsibility for health to the client it enables a client to provide self care determine personal needs and provide for growth the curative factor 8 is providing a supportive protective or a corrective physical socio cultural and spiritual environment which involves assessing and facilitating a client's coping abilities to support and protect mental and physical well-being which requires understanding that a person's environment includes internal and ex- external independent variables it includes providing comfort privacy safety and a clean aesthetic environment the nine curative factor is assisting with gratification of human needs it is grounded in hierarchy of needs similar to that of the maslows she has created a hierarchy which she believes is relevant to the science of caring and nursing according to her each need is equally important for quality nursing care and the promotion of optimal health all the needs deserve to be attended to and valued so according to jean watson which requires meeting lower needs before attaining higher order ones watson identifies a hierarchy of needs including lower order which is biophysical needs and psychophysical needs higher order is psychosocial needs intrapersonal and interpersonal needs here we can see watson's ordering of needs for every human being the lower order needs are very important they are biophysical needs or psych- psychophysical needs so in the biophysical needs the need for food and fluid the need for elimination the need for ventilation are important and in the psychophysical physical needs the need for activity or inactivity the need for sexuality are important then comes to the higher order needs they are psychosocial needs and self actualization so in psychosocial needs need for achievement and affiliation and finally the self actualization comes which is almost similar to maslow's hierarchy and the last curative factor is allowance for existential phenomenological forces which permits one to understand people from the way things appear to them their experiences shape their individual perceptions which leads to a better understanding of oneself and of others later in her life jean watson converted her the curative factors into caritas process so in 2001 watson introduced the concept of clinical caritas process which has since replaced the curative factors the word caritas originates from the greek vocabulary meaning to cherish and to give special loving attention the clinical caritas process emphasizes a greater spiritual dimension Here we can see how she has changed her curative factors into caritas process. So in the curative factor for number 1 was formation of humanistic altruistic system of values which she has changed into practicing loving kindness and equality. Second is installation of faith or hope with or hope in curative factors which is changed into being unauthentically present and enabling and sustaining the deep belief system of self and one being cared for. The third curative factor was cultivation of sensitivity to oneself and others so in the caritas process it is replaced as cultivating one's own spiritual practices deepening self awareness going beyond ego self and the fourth curative factor was development of helping trusting relationship so in the caritas process it is developing and sustaining a helping trusting authentic caring, caring relationship The fifth curative factor was promotion and acceptance of the expression of positive and negative feelings which is changed into being present to and support to of the expression of positive and negative feelings. The sixth curative factor was systematic use of the scientific problem solving method of decision making which is replaced is replaced into creatively problem solving solution seeking through caring process. The seventh curative factor was promotion of interpersonal teaching learning 
and in the character's process it is changed into engaging in transpersonal learning within the context of caring relationship staying within others frame frame of friends the eight creative factor is provision of a supportive protective and or corrective mental physical socio cultural and spiritual environment is changed into creating a healing environment at all level the ninth creative factor is assistance with gratification of human needs which is changed into assisting the basic needs as sacred acts touching mind body spirit of others sustaining human dignity the 10 creative factor is relevance for existential phenomenological forces and it is replaced into opening thing to spiritual mystery and unknowns allowing for miracles the second concept in watson's theory is the transpersonal caring relationship for watson the transpersonal caring relationship characterizes a special kind of human care relationship that depends on the nurse's moral commitment in protecting and enhancing human dignity as well as the deeper higher self self the nurse's caring consciousness communicated to preserve and honor the embodied spirit therefore not reducing the person to the moral status of an object the transpersonal caring relationship describes how the nurse goes beyond an objective assessment showing concerns towards the person's subjective and deeper meaning regarding their own healthcare situation the goal of a transpersonal caring relationship corresponds to protecting enhancing and preserving the person's dignity humanity wholeness and inner harmony the third concept is the caring occasion or caring moment this can occur during various nursing interventions and interactions with each patient this portion of the theory focuses on an actual tangible moment in the time in which the nurse recognizes the connection that is developed between him or herself and the patient this moment dictates the ability for the nurse to have an overall impact on the patient Now let's see what sense theory and the four major concepts. So first one is person. Person is viewed as a human being to be valued, cared for, respected, nurtured, understood and assisted. A person is greater than and different from the sum of the parts. Person must be viewed according to the client's development and the conflicts arising in this development. The individuality of each person is important. So when we are caring for each person, we have to see the individuality. Every person is different from other person. The care we are providing for one person is different from others. That she is explaining in this concept. So in the meta paradigm health, which approximates the WHO's definition of health, it is a state of complete physical mental and social well being not merely the absence of in disease or infirmity health is also described by watson as encompassing a high level of overall physical mental and social functional functioning a general adaptive maintenance level of daily functioning health is viewed as a subjective state within the person's mind each person must define a personal state of health aspect the next paradigm in genes theory is environment environment is defined as society with all of its influences environment provides values and de- determines how a person should behave and which goals he should strive toward environment encompasses social cultural and spiritual aspects genes says nursing is concerned with promoting and restoring health preventing illness and caring of the sick nursing uses the caring process to help client achieve a high degree of self harmony to promote self knowledge self healing or insight into the meaning of life nursing combines the research process with the problem solving approach nursing contains the same steps as the scientific research process
now let's see the application of gene watson's theory in nursing process the identification data which is given is same about mrs james 72 year old female uh, she came in the hospital with the complaints of cva which is left sided and she has left sided weakness yes she is a left handed person and her personal history everything is she lives in her own home have in a four bedded room frequently reports difficulty in sleeping in the hospital until she was hospitalized she slept 6 to 7 hours a night has incontinence at times needs assistance in bathing feeding etc she misses her friends and describes herself as miss believes independence is like to interact with her own age group so in the nursing process the first step is assessment so assessment differs in each nursing process here in this nursing process jean watson gives importance for her lower order needs and higher order needs first let's see what are the lower order needs so the first thing is biophysical so is so is she able to obtain adequate food and fluids mrs james needs assistance in this area due to limited use of her dominant left hand elimination needs Mrs James had difficulties with both bowel and bladder control and ventilation she is in a multi bed unit with only one window so in all these areas we need to do the assessment the second thing is in the lower order needs are psychophysical needs so here activity or inactivity mrs james left sided weakness limit her ability to walk alone she reports difficulty sleeping sexuality mrs james describes herself as mess when comes to the higher order needs first is psychosocial so achievement mrs james is worried about whether or she will be able to continue to care for her home and to serve as a hospital volunteer affiliation mrs james misses her regular contact with her friends in the park interpersonal mrs james is concerned about whether others will continue to value her if she can no longer be independent The next step in the nursing process is nursing diagnosis. So nursing diagnosis is based on assessment and related to human needs. Areas of need include adequacy of food and fluid, bowel and bladder control, ventilation, activity and dress, self image and interaction with others. The next step is the next step is planning. Plan care around the 10 curative factors which includes instilling faith and hope, establishing a helping trust relationship, acceptance of feelings, interpersonal teaching learning, a supportive, protective, corrective environment, meet, meeting human needs. In the implementation, arrange meeting with therapists to explain what they can do to help Mrs. James regain function, have a person who has recovered from stroke visit with Ms., Mrs. James, encourage mrs james to discuss her feelings about herself her stroke and her current abilities arrange environment to maximize use of her right hand arrange her things right or her her bed with mrs james plan a toileting schedule to help her regain bowel and bladder control move her to a small room so there will be fewer interactions fewer interruptions to her sleep in the evaluation let's see are mrs james human needs being met or not is her food and fluid intake is adequate or not is she regaining bowel and bladder control is her pattern of sleep nearer to her normal pattern is she moving around safely with her walker how does she describe herself before she has described herself as mess so we need to see that is she interacting with other patients or with her
the strength of genes theory is it enhances the nurse patient interaction and improve practice for patients it is personal in nature and based on the value system of the individual it places the client in the context of the family the community and the culture nursing practice becomes personalized while at the same time less generic and technical in nature the client becomes the focus of care and not the technology available for treatments the weakness of our theory is biophysical needs of the patient are given less importance and the main focus is on the psychosocial needs of the individual to conclude jean watson's theory of caring champions the traditional practices of caring and empathy and encourages a more emotional and open approach to the care of patients in a healthcare practice nurses are encouraged to engage authentically and spiritually with their patients and their patients families in order to allow a more positive experience of the healthcare environment for all patients hope you all are clear with jean watson's theory it is very easy it is one of the very easy theory thank you for listening